as well. Uh, with it being Black History Month, um, you know, I keep coming across a lot of things, um, you know, a lot of sayings and uh, just studying certain things. And of course, I mean, who doesn't love uh, Dr. Martin Luther King? He's oh, so, so, so amazing. Um, wasn't perfect, but there was only one perfect person. So we could either dwell on the things he wasn't perfect about, or we can look at all the amazing things he did. And I came across a quote of his that kind of got me thinking. Like it really got me like, oh, I might be in the wrong here. Um, so this isn't, you know, I just, just for you to think. So he said, um, he who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. And I thought, hmm, that's, that's interesting, right? Like, um, you know, how, how do those relate and how, you know, how does that, how does that happen? But he goes on to say, um, the words, I will forgive you but I'll never forget what you've done. Never explain the real nature of forgiveness. Certainly one can never forget if that means erasing it totally from his mind. But when we forgive, we forget in a sense that the evil deed is no longer a mental block impairing a relationship. Likewise, we can never say, I will forgive you, but I won't have anything further to do with you. Forgiveness means reconciliation, a coming together again. Without this, no man can love his enemies. The degree to which we are able to forgive determines the degree to which we are able to love our enemies. And some may say, I don't, I don't even need to love my enemies, but uh, if you're really trying to live Christ-like, <laughs> right? Um, you know, we've been asked to forgive our enemies. And I know, like, I, I, I know every situation is totally different. And I know that there are... Um, very, very uh, toxic people, and you're going, well, it's easy, you know, if I just, you know, cut them out of my life or just ignore them, and, and that makes sense. But I just, you know, in thinking of myself, you know, I've just thought about those who've hurt me. Um, and what good? Um, does it do if we just ignore it and move on? True forgiveness comes from the heart. And again, it's not to forget, but it's um, some people don't deserve it, but they were not asked to judge that. I mean, some people have done some horrible, horrible things. And I understand, I don't, I, I was gonna say I understand that, but I don't know if I really do. But I know that people who forgive, um, that they have so much more peace and so much more love in their life. They aren't bitter or angry. They just love. A great, great, great book is The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. And um, that, uh, what I love about that book, look that book up, Corey Ten Boom. And they were, um, they, I, I believe they were in um, Amsterdam and they were Dutch and they hid um, 
they had Jewish people in their house and they were turned in and got put into a concentration camp for, for doing that. And um, her story, she lived, but in this story, she talked about how she would go around speaking about forgiveness and speaking about forgiveness and, and you know, just about that. And she said at one of the times she spoke, uh, one of the soldiers from the concentration camp came up and um, wanted to meet her. And she said in that moment, she had to decide, do, you know, he stuck out his hand to shake their hand and she did, do I really believe what I've been preaching? Do I really believe that with God I can forgive? And she shook his hand and she said, just felt this, just lighter and love. Even charity, the pure love of Christ. So, two great, great, great examples. Dr. Martin Luther King and Corey Ten Boom on forgiveness and love. Just normal people who wanted to be a light for Christ. And they have been. And I'm thankful for that. So, look up. Look at the book, The Hiding Place. Read it. It is amazing. Have a wonderful, wonderful.